Hey Libra, happy birthday. You guys are up first because this is your birthday. Um, you guys are in birthday season, so I hope you're all having great birthdays, enjoyable times. Um, let's get into this. This reading is cray. Um, so I pulled a bunch of different decks. So um, we've got, you know, the the everyday oracle Sabila cards, the little ones down here at the bottom, and they go further down. You guys can't see them all, but we'll be talking um, a little bit about what's going on. I started with the um, psychic oracle of the heart. No, I'm sorry, psychic tarot of the heart. And then we moved into the romance angel deck, which you guys are all well aware of. We also use whispers of love over here, just a couple of them. And we also used energy, no, I'm sorry, quantum oracle. Um, I think that's all the decks I use. Uh, but anyway, let's just talk about this reading. So what I feel is going on for your um, first oracles, you've got sadness and isolation and take the lead. And look at the sadness and isolation. This person's coming out of the shell that they were in, out of the cocoon they've been in, and take the lead. And back in action here. That's what I think is happening here is someone, either you or them, somebody involved in this love partnership relationship or if you're not in one this could be coming around for you is just coming out of something um and getting ready to you know take action again they're both number three cards um i just noticed that so three three so um i also feel like there's gonna be or there is romantic feelings between the two of you i also feel as though someone's healing from something from the past um, and this is going to help a lot that they're going through some kind of healing process. And they're, like I said, they've been in the cocoon and they're coming out of it. So this could have already been going on. Um, and spirit is saying like, tell us what you want and we're going to send you something because, you know, stay optimistic about your love life and call it in. Uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you this romance. And then it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person might be different than you're used to or have something different going on about them than you're used to or be, you know, this could be anything. This could be they're a different, you know, race. Uh, they could be a different nationality. They could be a different um, religion. They could be a different tax bracket they could be just different in looks and size and shape everything this could be anything this doesn't have to be any of those things it could be something totally different and they could just be a different personality than you're used to whatever it is none of that really matters is what spirit's saying is stay optimistic and be open to new possibilities and um, just because someone's different than your usual type, don't be surprised that they're the one spirit sent to you. So I bet, I guess what you're being told is to be open-minded and just give it a shot. Um, and that doesn't mean, you know, that you guys have to like anybody that you are just not attracted to. So you don't have to spout out down below. How dare you tell me to like someone I think is disgusting? No, I, I did not say that. I would not say that. If you are totally turned off by a person, by all means, keep going, right? Look elsewhere. Um, but you guys would be surprised at the kooky things people say to me in their comments about stuff like that. This is, if you are at all attracted to someone, they might be different than your usual type. And Spirit says, don't let that deter you. All right. Um, so I feel as though you're overcoming something. There's some kind of a, you were in some really low vibrational cycle here. And then some kind of a, now this could be happening like as we speak. So uh, oh, and another thing I wanted to talk to you about was the, the person you're going to be attracted to, there's going to be something about the two of you that you are alike with. So even though this person's usually uh, different than your usual type, there's going to be something about the two of you that is like peanut butter and jelly. So keep that in mind. So there's also going to be something very special about the two of you that really does blend well together even though this person isn't your normal type there's going to be something that you go wow we didn't you know you're going to realize something about the two of you is very alike in some ways all right i, I also feel like it's important that you are really honest and take your mask off 
so that they'll take theirs off. Um, allow your true self to be seen let, so that they can see the true you. And in turn, they'll feel comfortable enough to show you the real them. I do believe that you've been in a very, this was about what I was about to say, in a decrease cycle. And that's about to transform and change in some way. And you're going to head into a really nice high vibration cycle where you're going to be tapped into your um, spirit is guiding you through this. You're going to be tapped in spiritually. You're going to, the new cycle is just going to be so much better for, especially for the one of you that was in this cocoon for a while. Okay. So it could have been a reason why somebody had to cocoon themselves. They could, they were definitely healing from something. I can see that. Um, okay. So now. There is, and I don't, this does not have to be related to what I just said. In other words, this could be a whole different storyline for someone. I kind of felt for some of you, this would be a completely different story. Some of you will resonate with both and, or some of you, this will all resonate as one. And some of you will resonate with one or the other, but I did feel that, um, we've got someone here who, um, uh, is waiting very patiently for someone the someone they're waiting for is involved somehow in a third party situation now this doesn't have to be love this could be any kind of third party situation that they're involved with that's keeping the two of you to, apart maybe this person works far away so they can't their work is like the third party um and that's really uh it could it could be anything um for some of you it is that they're you know finalizing they're waiting for information to come in for sure so this information might be the thing that allows them to be free to move towards you uh, because they've been in a stuck energy or you have been where you were unable to come together and reunite or come together and be together i do see someone wanting to get like um talk to you about this um, now, whether for some of you, it could be them that wants to have a conversation with you about feeling disappointed that the two of you, you know, like they're on a mission to come together with you. They want to fix this. They want to do anything they can to get free from whatever this is. They're waiting for the information with from and to come towards you. Now, this conversation, though, they might send a third person in to talk to you about this. So in other words, we've got somebody here who wants to come together with you, but they send someone else to talk to you or someone else talks to you about it for some reason. Um, and this could be um, like, uh, like kind of like a third person, but I still feel for some of these people, they're trying to end a, a third party situation, whether it is, like I said, an actual third party, like they were, they're waiting for the, you know, finality of their divorce, or they're waiting for final, you know, papers to be drawn up, or they're waiting for, they're waiting for something. There's something about a third party that they are trying to put to rest. Now, for some of you, they could have literally put someone to rest. They could have lost somebody and they're just now, you know, um, they're just now healing from whatever this is. But I mean, we cl clearly have this, you know, the third person and the putting something to rest with the Morte card here. Um, but this also could be something totally, in fact, for most of you, that's going to be very rare for you, few of you that have the, um, that someone they love died or something and they were going through some kind of a loss. Um, but for most of you, almost all of you, that's not the case. Um, the case of this is that there is something third party holding them back, whether it's an actual person or, um, you know, a job or something that's keeping them away from you. And they're trying to fix this, whatever it is. Um, and their goal really is to come together with you and, um, and I don't know if they're going to reunite or unite, whatever it is, if they're reuniting with you or they are just uniting for the first time with you. It's something that they've wanted to do after they got out of a, a you know, a, a, t a difficult time. Now, this all could be you feeling this way about them, right? So this reading could go either way. Anyway, I hope that this made sense to someone. Um... I hope that you guys will reach out and let me know if this is your story. I'm going to grab you a couple of these little angel cards just to see what the angels have to say about this situation. Angels, what do you want us to know about this situation here for Libra, for anyone with Libra placements?
Oh, that's too many. Just one or two. I'm going to put them back in and mix it again. We got the trust card that came out, which is really nice. What else for Libra? Openness. I'm not going to take all those. We got these. Openness, strength, and trust. Wow. Okay. So this is important that somebody is able to open up to someone and to trust them. Um, and strength. Like I said, the masks have to come off. So, like I said, I felt like it was very important that you guys both took your masks off, show your your true selves. This is what this feels like. Strength, trust, openness. Um, listen, both of you could have gone through something. It's One of you definitely went through something that you're healing from. Both of you could have. And now it's time for if you're going to, if you the two of you are going to, you know, give this a shot. There are, there is romantic feelings here, but it takes healing from something from the past. It also takes climbing out of some stuck energy and getting into some fresh new energy, which I think you are. Um, there is some kind of, there's definitely love and loyalty involved in this reading. I know you can't see all the cards, but there's a lot of cards here that show us, you know, the, the love and the conversation to be had. Um, there is for some of you this somebody else is going to talk on behalf of one of you um, there is it somebody who definitely you know there's love involved here there's somebody who wants to come in and fix a situation they miss somebody there's a couple cards of grieving and you know there's coming together there's commitment I mean there's a lot of nice cards in here but in between them I can see where somebody is trying to release something else I could see where somebody's waiting for some kind of information to come in. Um, for some of these people, they're releasing a third party or the, the memory of a third party, the pain that they went through with something that happened. In a, and now I don't want to say that it was with someone else. It doesn't have to be like third party dirty, right? Um, this could have just been like loss from the past or something like that. Um, I definitely do see you go from decrease to increase and look how they lined up right over top of each other. You go from decrease cycle, a transformation comes in right next to the decrease and the increase comes in with higher self. So really special. That's really special. So anyone who is, has been going through this, you rest assured your cycle's changing here. It's coming out um, that you could have, now this could be you or this could be your loved one when we're doing love readings i always feel like this energy could be vice versa strongly or it's both of you going through these feelings um i definitely feel as though this cycle once once you guys take masks off strength to trust each other and be open everything changes and i mean really for the better there could be a conversation that's had in this relationship that changes everything for the better like really opening up your heart chakra or opening up yourself to another person. I love it. Anyway, Leo, uh, Libra, I'm sorry. Libra, please comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you could uh, comment and let me know if you think this is yours. If you know this is yours, there's a sense of loyalty between the two of you or there will be. Um, I like it. It was, it was a nice, nice energy. Um, and you could really see the energy transformation going on that's happening or about to happen for you, for them, for both of you. All right, guys, stay open, stay open minded. Don't forget to invoke in and call in what you want from spirit. If none of this has happened yet, put in your order like you're ordering a meal, exactly what you want from spirit. Not, not superficial, but you know, what's important, kindness, care, loyalty, honesty, love, you know, commitment. Put in that order with spirit and then be open-minded when it shows up. They're, they're going to be different, but you're going to find out once you open up your heart to them and give them a chance or you vice versa, right? You're going to find out the two of you do have things that are just like, I mean, we had the like attracts like card came out. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, if you long for more love, be more loving, like attracts like. So opening up your heart chakra is going to allow them to open up theirs. And to be honest, honesty is essential in taking off the mask, letting each other see the true you. Speak with love and truth always. Anyway, guys, let me know um, what you, if you resonated at all with this reading, okay? And if it's happening yet, and if it's not, Hopefully someone's really great is going to come in for you guys. If you want to claim it down below, 
claim the reading and say, and so it is, so mo to be, whatever you got to say at the bottom in big capital letters with ex exclamation points, letting spirit know that you're ready for what we just talked about here. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video. It helps so much when you guys like the videos. It helps me doing free readings for you guys. It helps me keep the channel going. It's so much more important than you guys realize to go hit the like on your favorite readers channels. Okay. For every reading. All right. Thanks so much guys. Oh, don't forget to pick, um, check out your weekly readings. Your general weekly readings just came out. Dailies are out there and I have more coming. Okay guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.